steam powered cars. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking they're slow and they're ancient and they kind of putt, putt, putt along the road. And for the most part, you would be right. Like no one ever picked up a babe at the drive-in with this job right here. Now, then again, no one should be able to pick up a babe at the drive-in with this job because this was my college car, but my babe wife was able to look past it. I'm a little off topic. Let's get back to steam powered cars. Now, this steam powered car, this is sleek and this is cool and this one is fast. In 2009, it set a land speed record at Edwards Air Force Base of 139 miles per hour. So let me tell you a little bit about how this thing works. So the car weighs three tons and it's made from a lightweight carbon composite material. It's powered by 12 boilers that contain nearly two miles of tubing. The boilers run on liquid petroleum gas and produce three megawatts of heat that the car needs to create the superheated steam, which runs at 725 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that superheated steam is injected into a steam turbine at more than twice the speed of sound. These boilers go through 220 gallons of water in 25 minutes and can pump out 8.8 .8 gallons of steam per minute. Well, very impressive, very fast, and very steamy. Now, if you would like to learn more about this car, we'll put a link down here in the description and you can get out on the worldwide interweb and find us. But you know, when you're out there, you gotta find us with some great content. We'll have something new for you again next week. I'll do a little homework for you and I will see you next week on Steam Culture with a new episode.